All right, let's take a look at this problem here. Let's make it nice and big here. All right, the way this problem works is that uh, we give you an initial triangle. We list the uh, points, the coordinates of those uh, points, those vertices. And this is called the pre-image. Because we're going to take the coordinate rule here and convert it and make the image from that. So let's go through that process just a little bit here. Let's take the point A at negative 3 and 1. Using our coordinate rule, we'll make A prime at the negative of negative 3 and the negative of 1. This would be its location at, uh, negative, uh, at 3 and negative 1. B at negative 2 and 4, when mapped uh, using this coordinate rule, would become 2 and negative 4. And then C uh, at 2 and 1 gets mapped to C prime at negative 2 and negative 1. Now those values would all get placed right in here, uh, but uh, I won't do that at this stage. The next stage is to graph this. So I'm going to go to 3 and negative 1 and do my best to plot a point there. I'm going to go to 2 and negative 4, plot there as well, and negative 2, negative 1. Now, I'm, this is a little rough with the tools I have, but I think I can identify that it is a, an isometry. And I'm just kind of doing my best to figure out what this is, but I think this is a rotation at this stage. Um, it looks like things have done, like a, looks like a 180 degree rotation. Uh, this thing got moved in a, um, a rotation because it looks the same shape and size. And, um, and it looks like it's been turned 180 degrees.